All right, guys, we are back. Uh, loving talking to Eggs here during the draft. Of course, he's a little bit furious that Ogre 2 was taken, but he says, just wait. I think he's got some plans to add some more goats to his lineup. We'll see who does complexity pick at number 36. But first, it's time to kick it off at number 25 with Erupt Gaming. Temper being grabbed here at number 25 by Erupt. Now, is this phase Temper? I don't think so. Okay. I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't believe it is. We're, we'll get some confirmation on this one. So Temper goes to Erupt at number three. It is not phase Temper. It is another Temper that is in the top 250. I don't know much about him, but as we discussed before, Erupt Gaming, one of the underdogs in Season 2. These guys came in through the play-in tournament. They know the squads that they're playing against very well. Temper, obviously, someone who impressed them in the past. We also gave you a look at Vex Gaming, who is up next. These guys went after Saint in round one, the teammate that they qualified in with. In round two, they went after Bloods, and in round three, they go after Vex Revenge's Slumber. And this is one of the best Canadian players I've seen. Slumber is an absolute slayer. I witnessed it firsthand at the Call of Duty Championships. He was part of that Vex crew that finished in the top eight. One of the only Canadian team to finish in the money. Big surprise there. He has two Game Battles tournament wins, over 9,800 pro points, and he comes in at number 92 overall. You I like that pickup of Slumber? I, I do like it. I had the chance to play against them at Philly. They beat us in the winner's bracket, but then we beat them in the loser's bracket to advance into uh, the, the championship bracket. He's a very underrated player, and this is the team that I would expect out of all of them to pick up You know, the solid amateur players because before they made it into the playing tournament, they were in that scene. They were scrimming against all these oh, yeah. uh, amateur teams. So they know who stacks up against two, and they felt Slumber was one of the strongest uh, of the players they went against. Well, our next pick comes from Optic Gaming, and Optic Gaming goes after functions. So this is phase, basically, right? Hmm. I believe, that, I believe okay. this is phasinator overall. Phasinator? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we find this functions, man. Yep, he that's, his that's name? phase. So phase comes okay. in here. Uh, and this is a great player. Let me go to his GB profile just so you can see what he's done. He brings to the table a serious load of pro points at 20,175. Uh, Anton, feel free to take this at any moment. He has 22 profi trophies, 196 accomplishments, and here he is. Here's his card. You see him. Comes in with the overall ranking of 27. 10 game battles wins in his history, and I've seen him on a number of teams in the past as well. Also remember that Fuse squad in the past. Uh, really like from what I saw in FaZe, and especially when it comes to Search and Destroy. I think he is going to be a strong player. He looks like uh, he played for Fear at one point on PlayStation and his Xbox Live gamertag Wild FaZe. So... Functions, a.k.a. Wild Face, definitely a strong addition to Optic Gaming. And I wonder who kind of saw that, you know, we should go after Phase for Optic. It's got to be either Embos or Next, the other two subs for Optic Gaming, weighing in on that. Uh, but also Phase, as you were saying, he played with the Fuse lineup. So the Optic guys, they've seen him perform at events, they've seen him play. And obviously Fuse, they had an incredible run at, at the first event of the season. So, you know, he's got some experience over his belt. You know, he's obviously not at that top level yet, but he's close to breaking in. And we'll see if he's able to do so under the Optic squad. We'll see what he can bring to the table for Optic. Our next squad on the roster shot here is going to be Curse Black. So they will come in with the 28th pick and Curse Black already going with Cosmo. And this is definitely a name that I expected to see. Cosmo comes in with the 131st rank overall in pro points, but he's shown his stuff under the tag of adversity. Two game battles tournament win, 6,000 pro points overall. What do you like about Cosmo's game? Well, I actually used to team with Cosmo back on Prime Example with Neslo and Davis, and Cosmo just has a really great attitude about the game. You know, he's willing to put in the time, in the willing to put in the effort as well. And not only that, he's uh, one of the more versatile players I've ever played with. He's a phenomenal assault rifle shot, but when it's needed, he's going to bring out that submachine gun and help you with the aggression. All right, so Curse Black going with Cosmo. That is following up on their pickup of Chino in the previous round and in round one, Miracles. But here's our next pick. Nifty is going to phase black here in the third round. You are calling this guy out for round two. Nifty sprints finally 
finding a spot. He is such a young, energetic dude. And I first found him, he was playing with Fios uh, back in slums. It was a 2v2 mm -hmm. tournament. I believe it was even pro scrims at the time. But Nifty just absolutely went off, was dominating. He has such incredible fast reactions and gun skills. That's what I found out of him first. And then I heard him speak. So young, high-pitched voice. He's grown up a bit since then. But what do you like about Nifty? Well, I think we all remember Nifty from that play he made against Team Envious when he was on Icons Conquer at UMG Atlanta to, to send them out of the tournament. So Nifty, even though he's young, he has a lot of experience. But the one thing that I really like about him is his attitude, the way he presents himself to others. He, he acts like a true professional and he also plays like Well, the young gun has now been picked up by FaZe Black. Our sixth pick here in round number three is gonna go to Justice. Of course, this is Sin, Doubt, BL, Fire, and Twiz, the newly formed squad. The, these guys came together just Tuesday. But Cole, Doubt, he was the captain of the team, went after Sin, his teammate first, then went after BL, Fire, and Twiz from Denial. In the first round, Justice picked up Looney. In the second round, they went after Thing 2. And here in the third round, they're going to grab the player from Denial, Flawless. So I really like this pickup. We saw what Denial, or what Flawless could do back when he was on Denial East. Uh, incredible AR at times also can switch over and help out on that objective at any point in the game. Yeah, Flawless played extremely well, extremely well at regionals from what I saw. He was one of the top performers from that denial squad. And this is the replacement for BL Fire, at least uh, it makes the most sense. Flawless, a very talented positional assault rifle player, also locks it down in search and destroy. And I really like this pick. We were kind of guessing that they were going to go after Fizzer, but I guess they were waiting to take Flawless. All right, so Flawless goes to Justice here in round three. Guys, we're going to commercial break. Six more picks in round three when we return. Everyone wants to know what is Complexity going to grab next, but our first pick after the break belongs to Team Caliber. We'll be right back. <laughs> 